Here I am to save your boredom with a new video. COVID-19, this coronavirus, that. It all started in the Chinese market, a place that I've spent a ton of time in. I actually have a video about street food in Wuhan. Wuhan is the, the city that the whole coronavirus thing originated in. That video is blowing up. You can check it out if you want to watch that. But this video is also about markets. Someone has to stick up for Chinese markets, and I'm the man for that. China has a ton of cool markets, a lot of different types of markets. All of these are in Chengdu, the place I used to live. Uh, but you'll find big cities will have markets like this all over China. And I'm also going to give you a little food tip because I do have a shameless plug, shameless plug, food guide, Chengdu, City of Gastronomy. Check out the links, buy the guide, and go there and eat the delicious food. All these places that I mentioned, I believe, are in the guide. So basically, we're doing seven awesome markets in Chengdu, China, and seven dishes to go with them. Yeah, let's do this. ISO is on fucking auto? God damn. Why is the ISO on fucking auto? I'm starting things off with a typical food market, probably the most common market in China. In Chengdu, my market of choice was the Workers Village Market, just because it's centrally located so it's easy to get to. You can head there before noon and it'll be at its busiest and most bustling, hanging meat fresh and butchered seafood. There's always something interesting going on in the market. There's also all kinds of delicious food there. Roast ducks, these ones are only 20 RMB. That's about $2.85 each. You can get slices of stewed beef. Hit a bakery stall for a tasty snack. Well, I saw that meat with some cabbage in it. Mm, that was really good. My favorite snack at this particular market though is the fresh spring rolls. They load up freshly made wraps with a variety of pickled and chili oil soaked vegetables. Mm. Spicy. Fresh, like crunchy, pretty good. Good stuff. The next Chengdu market I want to talk about is often called Hot Pepper City. Now this is a type of market that specializes in one specific ingredient. In Sichuan they use a lot of chili peppers, so this is a chili pepper market. Chili is absolutely one of the most important ingredients in Sichuan cooking. It pairs really well with the Sichuan peppercorn, an ingredient that they had been using for a long, long time before the chili pepper showed up from South America. It also helped to hide off tastes in meat at a time when there was no refrigeration and Chengdu is also very wet, it's very humid there, so meat would go bad quicker. Hot Pepper City has several different types of chili pepper for sale, but the most famous is probably the Chao Tian Jiao, the heaven-facing pepper, called that because it grows upward towards the heavens. The dish that I crave most after a visit to the chili pepper market is Shui Zhu Nu Ro. It's a beef cooked in a fragrant broth and then covered in chilies, Sichuan peppercorns, and garlic, and hot oil is poured on top of it all, which blasts the ingredients with heat. It makes them extra, extra fragrant. My nose is burning already. Next up is the seafood market or the fish market. In Chengdu, the Greenstone Bridge Market is the largest fish market. It's located just down the street from Tianfu Square in the heart of Chengdu. Be prepared to see lots of living animals, fish, frogs, octopus, eels, giant salamanders, turtles, and of course be prepared to see those same animals being butchered, some still alive. Do you guys want to see a turtle being cut up? I don't know if you do. The people that work in the market are an attraction of their own. Hard-working people that can shuck an oyster or debone a fish in a flash. Of course, fish is on the menu after that visit. In Chengdu, I recommend trying Wanzhou Kao Yu. Wanzhou is a place and Kao Yu means grilled fish. Most menus will have a list of fish types and a list of flavor styles. Then you pick additional ingredients you want to cook up with your fish. The fish is usually grilled in the back, but then they bring it out on a hot griddle with all your other food choices. It's all covered in vegetables, spices, and all kinds of flavors like garlic, pickled peppers, ginger, and more. It's good. It's really good. So online shopping in China is huge. So blah, blah, blah. Online shopping in China is huge, so this market doesn't get the attention that it used to, but it's still a cool type of market that I love to wander around. In Chengdu, it's often referred to as Computer City, but there are several buildings in the area, and only one of them is officially Computer City. I'm talking about the electronics market. 
Usually these are tall buildings, maybe five to six stories high, and they're packed with various vendors. You walk around to the different floors, and each floor is dedicated to maybe cameras or laptops or whatever. If you do plan to buy something, be sure to shop around and negotiate hard. When I go to Computer City in Chengdu, afterwards I always like to walk over to Kuhua. It's a little alley that's famous for its food. My favorite place in the alley is actually called Large Intestine Alley. That's the name of the restaurant. And they specialize in intestine, but my favorite thing to eat there is simply known as stewed mixed meat, or banggua ro. It's big hunks of pork stewed for two hours and dressed in a spicy sweet sour sauce. The flavors are out of this world and the pork is just super tender. Another common type of market you'll find in China is an antique market or even an art market. In Chengdu, they have one that combines both. It's called Songxian Chao, and it's actually the second largest antique market in all of China. Vendors spill out onto the streets with all kinds of cool traditional Chinese and Tibetan items. Jewelry is very popular here, Tibetan prayer beads especially. You'll also find old coins, Buddha statues, and lots of art. Most of the art is actually inside the building. If you head upstairs to where all the studios are, you'll actually be able to see people working their craft, painting, sewing, doing embroidery. There's something almost hypnotic about watching someone do Chinese calligraphy. Sichuan is famous for shoe embroidery. By using 122 different needlework techniques, small silk threads are sewn into a satin canvas, creating amazingly detailed images. When I visited the market, I bought a couple old records, but the highlight was just hanging around the little shop, listening to music with the owner. <laughs> After checking out the antique market in Chengdu, I suggest crossing over the bridge and heading over to Han Baoza for one of the best steam buns in the city. They have a wide variety of stuffed buns, including original pork, fragrant pork, barbecue pork, pork and green onion, and vegetarian ones like mushroom, carrot, and cabbage, and even some dessert ones with brown sugar and sesame paste. Oh, that's so good. And the number six Chinese market I want to talk about is the pet market. In Chengdu, it's called Xin Kai Jie. It's filled with adorable kittens, puppies, bunnies, lots of fish, frogs, hedgehogs, turtles. I saw chipmunks and even groundhogs. To me, the fish stores are some of the most beautiful shops. They also seem less cruel. I didn't find that the pet market was sad at all, though. I know some people will probably have horror stories. But overall, the conditions seemed pretty good. It was pretty pleasant. I definitely don't condone some of the shit going on there, but it's a different culture, and what can I say? No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. About a 20-minute stroll from the Chengdu Pet Market is one of my favorite Chengdu restaurants. It's called Doji Fan Changhua, which means something like cockfighting food. They have original takes on classic Sichuan dishes. I love the lampshade beef, which comes hanging on a rod. They also make stewed beef in like a bread bowl that kind of has some like Indian flavors to it. The menu has a lot of good stuff. There are photos, so it's easy to order. And the restaurant's pretty cool itself. It has kind of a, a cottagey theme going on. Finally, the last market I recommend is probably the biggest and baddest in Chengdu, at least. It's called Lotus Pond Market, or He Hua Chu. It's a wholesale market. Tons of stuff people buy in bulk. It's just really overwhelming. This is almost frightening. When I first went there, I wandered around for like an hour and I barely got out of the shoe section. You can easily get lost here. There's just so much stuff. If you're looking to save money on souvenirs, you can probably find most of that there. It might take you an hour or two though. You definitely will want to negotiate. There's definitely a lot of knockoff items, which is sort of fun in a way. Not every Chinese city will have a wholesale market, but if you're in one that does, definitely check it out because they're really one of the most vibrant places in all of China. Oh, we got helicopters flying. There's rumors on the WhatsApp. People are like, oh, there's helicopters flying around. They're spraying chemicals to combat COVID-19. People spreading rumors. It's ridiculous. Just stay in your house shut up. Get off social media. Uh, so if you do manage to go to Lotus Pond Market in Chengdu, while you're there, make sure you watch out for the grilled skewered meat stand. This is Muslim food in China, and it's really good. They usually have lamb and beef. I love the lamb. They cover it in the chili and cumin combo, and they grill it over hot coals. It's the perfect snack for strolling around the market. And when you're done, you can use a stick to fend off aggressive sellers.
Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you get a chance to visit Chengdu in its many markets, or any Chinese city for that matter. Maybe wait till after the whole coronavirus thing is done. I'll be back next week with a new video. Oh, subscribe below. Leave me, leave me some smoochies in the uh, comments. And that's it. Markets. Markety Mark and the Funky Bunch. Yeah. Prefer when I'm by myself. I don't want to hang around y'all. Pray for good health. One day I'm really gonna fall. Fuck around and buy the whole mall. Breaking that cake. Texas have a hundred in the bank. Not a superhero, I don't save. Look at my face. Look at my grace. Don't match up. No love. Fuck a date.